Hello everyone and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Last week we saw how we can take the custom application and make sure it's hidden for all the roles in the organization after we upgrade to the unified interface. Now, when I share that tip, it generated a few questions and comments, like this one from Adam, for example. He said, great tip. Is there a way to make another app the default at that point? Great question, Adam. And that gave me an idea for today's tip. So let's start the countdown and let's go. Now, this tip can be used whether you want an application that is global for the organization to be the default. So when everyone logs in, they will essentially see um, that uh, application, a model driven application as a default, or if you create multiple applications, depending on the user roles, then they will be able to see uh, essentially whatever application matches to their role. So in this case, I actually created an application called warranty department, I'll show you both ways to do it. So if I click on the meatball menu right here on the ellipsis button, I can go into manage roles. Now notice that all the roles are kind of deselected except for the system administrator and customizer. So if I want to make this application available for a specific team, all I do is I scroll down or I find the security roles that will have access to it. Like in my case will be the warranty department staff since this is a warranty department application and I click on save. But if I want to make this available to everyone else in the company and I want to make it kind of the default for everyone, then I would select the application, simply click everyone just like that and click on save. Now, this tip is also connected to two other tips in our channel. If you want to check those out, I would check out tip number 65, which is essentially controlling access at the instance level. So for example, if you have multiple instances like dev and test and training and stuff like that, you can actually control who can access those instances. So it's not at the app level, but at the instance level. And also I would check out tip number 21, which makes it automatic launch of a custom application when the users go to home.dynamics.com. So if they don't want to memorize the URL for this specific application, they want to memorize home.dynamics.com, or perhaps you push this as a short cut into the desktop, which is another tip coming up in the future, I'll be talking about that, uh, then when they click on it, they will be automatically redirected to this application and completely bypass, you know, the app selector. So if that's what you want to do, check out tip number 21. I hope you enjoyed the tip this week, and we'll see you next week.